Health officials tout at-home rapid COVID-19 tests as a first line of defense against the pandemic. The tests allow users to take their own sample and then get a result within 15 minutes. Some social media users saying that convenience can come at a cost in the form of a lethal ingredient used to generate the result. So let's verify. Do some at-home COVID-19 tests contain a lethal ingredient? Our sources are the Upstate Poison Center, the Cincinnati Drug and Poison Information Center, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the National Capital Poison Center. When you do a rapid home test, the kit requires users to collect a sample and place it on a tray. Then you have to mix a liquid reagent with the sample to make a reaction, which generates a positive or negative result. The Upstate Poison Center says the liquid reagent in many tests contains sodium azide, which the CDC calls a potentially dangerous chemical. But all three poison centers say the test kits contain such a small amount of sodium azide that most people will not become seriously ill if they use the test improperly, such as ingesting the solution. Cincinnati poison experts say the two most common calls about COVID home tests they get are either about children who ingest the liquid or adults who mistake the test bottle for eye drops. The National Center said it also received calls from people who put the solution up their nose or spilled it on their finger. In every case, the person suffered either no to mild irritation. So it's true. Some rapid at-home COVID-19 tests contain a very small amount of a poisonous ingredient, but the tests are perfectly safe when used correctly. Most people have no or mild symptoms if they incorrectly touch or ingest the dangerous ingredient. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.